When I began back in 2012, um, there were many challenges within the organization uh, for home health and hospice, beginning with operational inefficiencies. The population that Health Alliance Home Health serves is a very large population. We cover about 30 plus towns, 400 Health Alliance Home Health patients, and about 40 hospice patients. We usually see six patients in a day. I can be their advocate. I can help them with you know any problems they're having with the doctor. I can contact the doctor quicker for them. So unlike the hospital setting, we have administrative staff who work in the back office that support the field clinicians we oftentimes don't see each other because of the ability to work remotely caring for patients in the home. We call it managed chaos because every day you don't know what you're going to get or who you're going to be visiting or what conditions it will be under. The telehealth program has improved the collaborative work that we do with rehab staff, the nursing staff, the physicians. The nurse is going into a patient's home maybe twice, maybe three times a week. We call most of our patients every day. It is a 365 day operation. When somebody's on telehealth, we spend about six to nine weeks really managing their disease process so that when we discharge, they'll be able to do it on their own, which means they don't go back into the hospital. I think before, our staff here felt as if, you know, they knew the patient here at the hospital, but after the patient was discharged, that was it. Now we get feedback from home health, how the patient's doing at home. We have nurse liaisons that are in the hospital setting. We discuss when start of care will need to be. We talk about the patients, their needs, insurances, family dynamics. I think it makes the transition home much smoother, that there is somebody in the hospital that can meet with the patient and the family before they leave the hospital so that they know what to expect from us once they get home. In our readmissions meetings with the team, we discussed is it possible for patients to get IV Lasix at home? Can the visiting nurse do that? And they, they looked into it and they ran with it. And now patients get IV Lasix at home and it will stop a readmission. We trained the nurses how to administer the IV Lasix. We worked with Diane on a monitoring system. So once the IV Lasix is administered, she follows them at a very strict protocol over 24 hours. For the only VNA currently that does IV Lasix at home. So it was definitely one of our biggest successes. One of my proudest moments here at Health Alliance Home Health and Hospice has been the recognition nationally. We were ranked top 20% for our hospice patient family satisfaction results. Probably four years ago, the patient satisfaction scores that we were receiving weren't as good as we wanted them to be. We spent years, we involve team members, we do meetings, we do um, group management of cases, we call each other, we check in, we support each other, and we kind of changed how we worked as a unit. And when we did that, our field staff were happier, and then the next year, when all of the scores went out, we went shot right back up. It's so important to have a good team that you know that you can rely on each other. And I think we worked really hard to be able to build that here. The team pulls together. It's all about the patient. I love my patients. I love the agency. I love my coworkers. Our success as an agency is our community's success. What we built here is something that we're very proud of.